Hello and welcome to this gemstone jewellery tutorial. In this project, we'll be making the bracelets that you can see here and learning how to do a wrap loop, as you can see here. So if we have a little look at what we get in the kit, you'll get some stretchy elastic, some beading thread, which is what we'll be using for this project, and some monofilament. You'll also be getting your findings. So if we go through these, you'll be getting your jump rings, your ball head pins, and your featherweight ball head pins, your earring findings, your shepherd hooks, your crimps and your crimp covers, your bolt ring clasps, your chain, and some spacers. We've got some smaller jump rings there. We'll also be working with three different sorts of pliers. So we've got our red handled chain nose pliers, our blue handled round nose pliers, and our yellow handled side cutters or snips. So to start, to make the bracelet, we're going to work with our beading thread. So our beading thread is a very fine, strong wire encased in a nylon. So you can see here, there's a little notch in the reel. So what we want to do, we want to take off about 30 centimetres of our beading thread. So as we take it out, we then wanna pop it really firmly back into the notch. And we're gonna use our cutters to just trim off. So our starting point is going to be to make the, to pop the findings onto the end of the beading thread. So first of all, we're going to take a crimp and a clasp. So we're going to pop the crimp onto the beading thread. And we're going to take our clasp and go through the hole there. I'm going to take the beading thread and go back through the tube of the crimp. So we're going back through, all the way through. We're just gonna pull that crimp until it gets a little bit closer to the loop on the clasp. And I want to try and make sure that we've got nice movement there and that we haven't pushed that crimp too far so that it's too close so that we can't move the clasp. So what we're gonna to need to do is we need to lock that in place and we'll do that by flattening the tube. So for that, we'll use our red handle chain nose pliers. We'll pop the tube into the pliers and squeeze down. So that now has locked that in place. And what we can do is we can then use one of the crimp covers just to cover the crimp. So we're gonna take one of our crimp covers. We want to position it so that the crimp is sitting in the valley of the crimp cover. It's going to hold the, the two pieces of the beading thread and the bolt ring clasp 
out of the way. And you can see that little crimp just caught into the cover. So I'm going to support that on my finger and really push down. And what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to close and to just create a seam along here. So I'm going to take my pliers I'm going to start to pinch. So I'm just pinching down nice and slowly and bringing that seam together. And when I've done, done it to part way, I'm just going to move the angle of my pliers and come in and start to pinch down and put pressure from one side. And move it round and put pressure on the other side. So you're looking to get the neatest seam that you can. So you're looking to join, almost close that mouth of the crimp cover so it becomes almost like a solid bead. So now what we can do is we can trim off that little spare piece of the beading thread. So again, we're going to use our snips or our side cutters and go in and trim that off. So we've now got the clasp attached to the end. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a simple pattern. First of all, we're going to add in a pearl. And the pattern will be, so I'm going to add in 19 pearls and a spacer in between. So that little crimp cover almost counts as a spacer. So I'm just going to start by taking one of my pearls and going through, letting that fall so that sits next to the crimp cover. I'm going to take one of my spacer beads and add that to the thread. So I'm going to keep going and adding those following that pattern until I've got 19 pearls. I've threaded on my pearls. So my last pearl, so my 19th pearl goes on and I don't put a spacer on the end because my last spacer will be the crimp and the crimp cover. So I'm going to take my beading thread and I'm going to do the reverse of what I did at the start. So I'm going to take my crimp and thread that on and a jump ring and I put the beading thread through the jump ring. I want to lock that jump ring into a loop of beading thread. So to do that, I'm going to take the beading thread and go back through the crimp. So you can see I'm starting to pull that, so I'm going to hold on to the jump ring and as I pull down that loop will get smaller. You can also hold the bracelet up. I pop my pliers in and keep pulling on here. So if I hold the bracelet up now, you can start to see that it's getting a little bit more taut, but I want to make sure that I've still got nice movement and a little bit of space in between each of my pearls and spacers. Because if it's too taut, it'll be too rigid and it won't be very comfortable to wear. So I want to keep a nice bit of fluidity. So I'm just going to pull along there until I'm happy that that's the right sort of rigidity. I'm going to come down now and swap my pliers over to my chain nose pliers and I need to crimp the tube again. So I'm going to hold the thread out of the way and go in and really squash that tube down. So that's now locked that in place. But again, so that we can, it's going to match up to the other end where we've got our crimp cover, almost like our spacer bead. So we're going to take again, so we're going to support here. So I've got it, the jump ring in between my thumb and my finger. I'm going to take one of my crimp covers 
and just pop the crimp into the valley and the opening of the crimp cover. And you can just give that a little bit of a wiggle so that it sits in really nicely and securely into that little valley or into the V. So again, I'm going to hold the thread and the pearls out of the way. I'm supporting it with my thumb and my finger. I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and start to close that seam. So we're bringing it, so I'm squeezing down, starting to close. And at that point, I'm going to stop and come in and put pressure from this angle. And then from the other side, and all the time, just getting that seam as neat as I can. So that it now starts to look like one continuous spacer bead. So I'm going to take the little tail that we've got here. And with my side cutters, I'm just going to go in and snip that off. So you've now created your pearl and spacer bracelet. And if you wanted to add a little charm or earrings, what you can also do with the pearls is we could add in a little wrap loop. So the wrap loop is the detail that has created the pearl charms here and on the earrings on this section at the bottom of the chain. So to make our wrap loop, we're going to use one of our finer head pins and we're going to add a pearl. So I'm going to pop the pearl onto the head pin, and let it fall to the bottom. And to make the wrap loop, we're going to use our round nose pliers. I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I pop the head pin into the pliers. And I've got that so it's about a third of the way down from the tip. So I'm going to hold my pliers and I come out at a right angle with the head pin. I'm going to move my pliers over that angle. I'm going to keep my hand still with the pliers and move the wire so that it moulds over the top. So it takes on the form of that nice curve of the round nose pliers. So now, if I take my pliers out just to check, I should have like a little coat hanger or a question mark shape. So my pliers were like that, so I've taken them out. And I'm popping them to the bottom of my pliers now. So I'm going to take the tail and I come out all the way round. Again, coming out at a right angle. So now I'm going to take the tail. I'm going to start to wrap around the stalk above the pearl. And I go all the way down, just wrapping. And you can wrap as many times as you like until you hit the pearl with the tail. So I'm going to take my cutters now and just trim off the little bit of excess here. I'm going to take that, just hold the head pin, making sure that I don't cut the loop. And you can see you might have a little bit of wire that's sticking out ever so slightly. So I'm going to swap now with our pliers and I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to just go in and just nip that in so that it's nice and neat. So we've now got a wrap loop on the pearl. So if we wanted to add this to something, because this is a loop that we can't open, so we need to add a loop that we can open. So we would use our jump ring. So I'm going to open and close the jump ring. So again, We've got our little saw mark at the top. I'm going to open and close like a door or a gate. I'm going to pop that into the loop of the wrap loop. And this is where you can add into 
some chain, if you've got the chain, or onto your earring finding. I'm just going to pop that onto the link of a chain and close up. So you can add in as many of those pearls and wrap loop charms as you like. And they look very, very nice if you wear them together and stack them up. So those are your gemstone bracelets.